Hi, I'm James with JNC Home Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to read wiring diagrams. First thing you want to know about reading a wiring diagram is you want to know the different symbols that are going to be actually on the diagram. There's different symbols for different things and, um, and a good diagram will always give you uh, symbols. Uh, it'll give you a page where it has all the symbols listed and what they mean and it'll tell you exactly what they are. So when you're actually looking at the diagram um, you know because a lot of times you'll see a bunch of little squares and boxes and they're a little bit different but they may look the same but they're actually a totally different things so it's always good to have um, a good diagram with something with the symbols on it so you can get a famili uh, familiarity about what you're looking at and what what each function is okay uh, once you've determined what the symbols are and what each thing means um, then it's as simple as actually going back and looking at your diagram um, there's going to be a wire color chart and it's going to give you a breakdown of the different color wires and it's going to give you an abbreviation of that that color wire um, you may think that black and blue maybe you know it's BL and you may think it's uh, the same but it's not you actually uh, the symbol for black is going to be BLK and the symbol for blue is going to be BLU so there is a little bit of a difference um, so you always want to make sure that you look at your wire color chart and determine uh, what symbol or what abbreviation they have for the different color wires. Okay, once you've determined that, um, then it's just a matter of going in and looking at the different components and the different uh, uh, wires, where they run, if there's a ground, if it's coming from a, a hot source, it's going to tell you on the di diagram, uh, basically, if, um, if, the, if the circuit is hot or if it's neutral um, or if it's, if it's hot in a, in a run position, um, there's a lot of things to, to factor in when you're reading a wiring diagram, um, but it basically a lot of what most do-it-yourselfers uh, want to read a wiring diagram for is basically just to see what each individual wire, what it goes to, and for testing components or testing switches or whatever else. But basically that's, you know, how you read a wiring diagram. Just make sure that you, you know the symbols on the wiring diagram, know the components that you're trying to test or whatever wires are running from, from here to there and which ones are your grounds and which one are your hot wires.